Hello, welcome back again to another session of AutoCAD 3D practice. Okay, today we are going to make this simple 3D drawing. We are going to draw this in two parts. First part, we are going to make this view and then we make this last view, this view and then join together to make it a complete drawing. So without wasting time, let's begin. This is one of the simplest 3D drawings that I've done so far. So let's start. You open your AutoCAD. Once you're done opening your AutoCAD, and first always make sure if you are starting new, make sure that you are on 3D modeling. Just tick on it. If you have been working on 3D, there's no need for that because you must have already set it. So, first of all, I'm going to turn off this grid. I don't like seeing it. I'll turn off, turn off that grid. And we'll start making our drawing right away. So, to make this, to make this, um, this, section make this part make this part we we'll start by drawing a circle so you pick a circle to pick a circle to you make a circle of radius 9 fr 9 enter you can zoom in or zoom out depending on the size you see there. Then you pick another the same another circle with the same center. This time diameter of 36. Diameter of 36. And we are going to pick a line to you take the center of the circle. You take your you take your line downward. You can turn on your objects auto mode so that you have your line on a straight line so you make that line to this arm of 25 and then take it to the right a distance of 32.5 32.5 and we are going to join this line to this circle at tangent to do that you have to press shift key Press shift key, hold and right click. You see tangents and you click it on the circle. You press enter on the screen. You can mirror this so you just type MI for mirror. Then you can select this. You pick this point and this point and you mirror it. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do. Is to make a rectangle so you click on rectangle to uh, you pick any points here we can put the size of our rectangle you can type at you can make the rectangle to be 65 comma since we are going down what minus 16 have this right type 65 for going rightward and minus 16 for going downward okay so when you are done i'm going to pick another um, line at the center of this rectangle not in the middle but at the center of that bottom line you make a line of 19 units and at that point so at this point to pick a circle to you take the cent the e tip of the line to make a circle of radius r11 okay at that point you take a line you take the tangent you see this quadrant now is because I turn it on 
if you have not turned it on you can check it here make sure it is on okay you take that part take it down the distance of 27 enter take it to the left a distance of 11.5 and then you join it to this uh triangle rectangle you can trim it after trying to make sure it's straight you can make a mirror copy of this you just select it you take this center and make a mirror copy okay at this point we are going to delete the lines that are not necessary they are not with those require anymore so you select this line and select this line and delete it and we are going to trim off this circle so take trim tr you want to do it off like this right okay at this point yes at this point we are going to convert this to 3d so you go to home icon where you click it and you take press pull you take you go to the first concentric circle here and you press it up a distance of 16 units the second part 12 units the third part 25 and then the last part here let it be 12 enter i'm going to change this view from 2d wireframe to shade it then i will have this right okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is to the next thing i'm going to draw is going to be in front so let me rotate this to see okay this this is what we have so what i'm going to draw next is going to be on the right side of this so you click the right side and you will have this right the next thing you do you change at this point this you change it to view make sure you always change it it's very important okay. at this time you are going to draw something else you pick a circle to you draw a circle of diameter 22 d 22 you make another circle from the same center of diameter 36 okay at that point you pick a line take the center downward 36 and rightward 64 and we are going to join it here we are going to join it okay 64 sorry after making that 64 we are going to take it up 25 sorry about that take it up 25 units and from there that is where I'm going to join it. So before we join it, let me turn it auto mode. Turn off auto mode. I'm going to press shift key, right click, tangent, join it like this. Let me move it a little so that I'm see everything. Mm, okay, let's continue. If the dimension is not right. We'll check it out and change the dimension so i'm going to pick line again at this point i'm going to join it to this circle so you press shift right click and then tangent to this circle and at this point i'm going to delete this line I don't need it again okay so this is what i need so i'm going to click the home icon here right so we are going to take a press pull we take a press pull tool from here and at this point to make it 10 right then you come to this circle inside here and make it uh, 10 also okay so at this point we are going to move this part and join it to the main drawing 
Um, so I'm going to pick at this point, and the, this is my best point. Pick here, and join it here. Uh, we can rotate this to see what is going on. Right. Like I said, this is one of the simplest GD drawing I've made so far. So next thing I'm going to do is to copy this part where it is. I'm going to pick this point. Your base point is very important. So you have to know where you're picking. I'm going to pick this point. Pick here. And join it there. Okay. So the last part we are going to do now is to extrude this part. If you look at the drawing, you see that there is extrusion of this circular part. So let's go back and do that immediately. So what you do is press to and you take these parts. You pull it the distance of six. Now we've got that. We will take the other side also. Press pull. using solid union select everything press it in. then we can move the 3D one from that place and so that we will be able to delete any 2D geometry bounds that is left and then It. We have this view. All right, so we have been able to make this drawing as fair requirement. So please, if you have watched, we have a lot, and we are progressing. It's not going to be as simple as this. So we are going to do like, as time goes on, we are going to do tough drawings. So you have to follow. Sub subscribe so that you will not miss anything subscribe because the drawings are going to come one after another please thank you for watching bye until next time